What up? Uh, I just want to on uh, my thoughts about uh, Dion Jordan. I heard about this shit about an hour ago. Maybe a little more. I'm not sure. As soon as Adam Schefter reported it, I, I saw it. And um, I didn't want to make a video right off the bat because I didn't want to just start talking shit about him or some shit or just ramble. I wanted to actually think about it, think about what I wanted to say, and uh, re really think about this, uh, what's happening. I'm not going to say... I know a lot of people's been saying, and you know, Lakers fin fan, a cool ass video. Um, a lot of people have been saying that uh, he's a draft bust. I don't think he's a draft bust. You can't really call him a bust. Oh, fuck, uh, it's hard because you know he hasn't played. He's an athletic freak. He's he could he's a fucking hybrid. He could play defensive end. I know he could play linebacker. If you saw last season, he covered Gronk. He covered he covered uh, Calvin Johnson pretty good too. So um, you know, I'm not really comparing him to this guy because um, we ha we haven't seen anything from him to actually compare. But the way he played in uh, Oregon and the way he's fit, the way he's shaped, the, his body, everything. His uh, physical abilities, uh, he resembled a little bit of Jason Taylor to me. And uh, I'm not saying he was going to be the next Jason Taylor. You never know. He only had three sacks in two years. But, um, yeah, I'm not saying he's a draft buzz because who knows? You know, let's say the Dolphins drop him, which I'm pretty sure they will. They drop him in a, in a year from now, two years from now, another team picks him up. And uh, actually, you know, he actually gets his shit together, actually plays. He could be fucking dangerous, dude. This dude is, is amazing. He's athletic. He got all the physical capabilities to do whatever he wants. He could, you know, shadow the, the, the tight end up the field. Or he could fucking, you know, go after, go after the quarterback. Pretty effective. And um, I think it's sad. I think it's kind of dumb that he's not really he doesn't really kind of shows that he doesn't really care about football about his football career you know what i mean he got caught last season supposedly he was fucking you know he was done he said drugs didn't uh uh control his life or something like that a couple of months ago and then look two months later he didn't fail the drug test it was just diluted or uh, fucking uh some shit like that um it was just you know so I don't know, man. Um, it kind of sucks. I kind of want to give the dude a... I don't know. How many chances can you give him? You know, we gave Mike Pouncey a lot of chances for all the dumb shit he's done, but he's actually produced. I want to give this dude a chance, but he hasn't produced shit. Um, as far as him affecting us, his his presence, him not being present affecting us, I don't think it's going to affect us too much at all, actually. He's replaceable on special teams. To the truth, we have a young, raw talent, and uh, this motherfucker's been showing a lot last season. Turns for day, I think he'll be. I think he's gonna be really fucking good. Um, he, we're not. He's not. He wasn't really. He didn't really have a leadership role. So you, you know, we're not missing like a leadership role. Like in, like if we're to be missing, like how we missed Louis Delmas last season, or like if Cameron Wake was to, you know, take a hit or some shit like that. You know, we're not missing a, a player that was playing a lot. He's actually fourth. In our defensive end rotation before Olivier Vernon, uh, Cameron Wake, and uh, Derek Shelby. So, you know, it's not like we're missing a a, a guy who plays a lot. And um, I think it'll be the same shit as last year. You know, instead of playing him, we'll just play Terrence Fede more. So, I don't think it'll be a big hit. And I wouldn't really call him a draft bust into, you know, if his career ends. Let's say his career ends, nobody picks him up. Yeah, he's a draft bust. But if he comes back and actually proves a lot of people wrong and shows that he could actually play and he becomes a big role in somebody's team, either the Dolphins, which I doubt it, or any other team, you know, then he won't be a draft bust, of course. But, um, yeah, man, I, I want to see what happens with this dude. Um, Kind of ran out of patience with him, but uh, fuck it, man, you know. So I'm kind of iffy about this. I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really give a fuck. And then, then again, I'm kind of like, and I'm just rambling right now. And then again, I'm kind of like... Uh, Fuck, you know, what could have been. You know what I mean? I would have rather had him playing linebacker. He wasn't going to play linebacker this season. Joe Philbin said it. Fucking idiot. But whatever, man. We'll, we'll see what happens, man. Until then, man. Peace out.